Hey there everybody, welcome back to Becoming Me, I am Lee, as always. Um, so it's been a while since the last video, I had a bit of upheaval, I had to move in a bit of a hurry, so uh, there's that. But um, I am back, and we have a new video now, hello. Um, as of yesterday, I have successfully navigated the NHS gatekeeping system to gain a referral to a surgeon for top surgery. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the surgery itself at a later date, but what I wanted to talk about now was how incredibly happy I'm going to be never to have to wear a binder anymore. What is a binder? Well, a binder is something that is worn by many um, transgender people who have breasts. And what it does essentially is flatten the chest. If you're not small chested, as I'm not, the effect of a binder can be less so. Uh, it doesn't necessarily flatten the chest entirely. And it can be uncomfortable. Uh, for, if worn for too long, you can have back problems, uh, you can have asthma problems. I have a love hate relationship with my binder. Um, not that I alternate between the two, but more that I have both at the same time. Um, so let's, let's introduce you, let's show you what a binder is. Okay, this here, this is my current binder. Okay, now what you see is you'll see the uh, the, the cotton bone sleeves, and then you've got the cotton down at the bottom, which is good. It kind of works like a vest. You can pull it down and tuck it in, and it keeps it in a, a more stable position for me. Um, you've got this, which is fairly heavy duty elastic, and you've got Velcro, uh, which I tend to add extra panels to as time goes by and things get a little bit looser. So basically, whenever I go out, I have to put on this thing, which makes me feel like... Uh, first of all, it makes me feel a bit like I'm having to put on battle armor. Um, but also, uh, it feels like I'm putting on this thing so that I can con continue to disguise myself into being the person that I'm telling everybody else that I am. So I have to wear that all the time. But then not having, you know, not wearing it around the house, it's like there's mirrors and showering and everything, and that gets really hard when I have to again, be reminded of the fact that my body isn't what it should be. I cannot wait until I can throw that thing away. Uh, uh, there's a lot of different types of binders. Some of them are short, some of them are long like that one. Uh, there's Velcro ones, zip-up ones, uh, just over-the-head ones. What works is entirely dependent on the person itself. Um, I, like the one, I like that one. I've been through a few different types, and I like that one that I've got there now with the heavy-duty kind of elastic and the Velcro, which I can add extra panels to, and the and the, pot, uh, the the vest type that I can sort of pull down, tuck in, so it stays in position. But that works for me, and that works for my chest. Um, but even so, even the that's probably the best binder that I've had, even that, where I have enough markers for most people to peg me as male these days, I can still see it. I can still see the lump that is my chest. I can still see the binder that I wear. I can still feel it. So every time somebody um, genders me correctly, there's still a part of me which is just like, but I'm not there yet. I'm not that yet. And I want to be that. And I should be that, but I'm not. And I feel like I'm still a fraud. Every time I have to put that on and go out and wear it, I feel like I'm still just pretending to be something that I'm not yet. But yeah, I mean, binders are not amazing. They're, they're not great things to have to wear. And they can cause a lot of problems. Sometimes it's those problems are preferable to the issues that arise when not wearing it. And it's as simple as that. It's simply making that judgment. I have to wear that binder if I'm in company. I have to wear that binder if I'm out of the house. Otherwise, I cannot function. I love it for the fact that it lets me function. I love it for the fact that it lets me uh, be masculine. And I hate it for the fact that I still have to wear it like I'm pretending. So I have my referrals over the next few months. I'll kind of progress through that a little bit. And as I said, I'll talk a little bit more about what top surgery is at a later date. But for the moment, there we go. Uh, you now know what a binder is. You now know why I love my binder and why I hate my binder. But for the moment, that is everything. As always, if you have any questions, then feel free to post in the comments or drop me a message anywhere. So ask any questions if you've got them, and I'll be generally happy to answer. Thank you.